Jack? <laughs> Yo, don't trust no Airbnbs, okay? So, I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. Yeah, I, I didn't know this shit could happen, but this shit is real. This shit is really going on. Goddamn, I caught myself trying to find a way to goddamn pay off my mortgage a little better, a little quicker, or whatever. So, <clears throat> I put this this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. It was going to be a, supposed to be like this real smooth transaction or whatever. I was, went on vacation or whatever. The person was supposed to be gone three days prior to my return. <clears throat> so I'm talking to my housekeeper or whatever, XYZ. She's like, yo, that person is still here in your house. What do you mean they're still in my house? It's supposed to have been gone. So when I get back and touch down in the city, this is still here in my mind in house okay refusing to leave so i don't know what to do i'm new to this shit so i go down and i do up there you go y'all yo <laughs> this is not funny hey there besties thank you for stopping by i am Michonne denise and we got some foolishness right here Woman refuses to leave the homeowner's house after renting through Airbnb. I ain't going nowhere, so deal with it, child. Mm, mm, mm. This woman looks like she got a nice ass home. Okay, very nice ass home. You know what this reminds me of? The movie with Kate Winslet. I think her name is the girl from um from um Titanic, and then uh, Cameron Diaz. Can't think of it. They did a, a house switch. One lived in London, England, and the other one lived in California, and they did a house switch because they was going through things with dudes. I love that movie. The Holiday, I think it's called. This is similar to that, except for the fact that we always got to take stuff too daggone far. I personally would never rent out nothing in my house unless it was somebody that I actually knew. You're not going to be Airbnb in it up in my own personal house. That's why you should buy other properties and then you can do that there. And then if the person acts crazy, you got to go through the legal process. So you work on getting them kicked out thereafter. Fine. That doesn't, you know, mess up your home, your home. life. Imagine if this woman had kids and I don't know that she does, but so we shall see. But imagine this woman has kids and she came back from a vacation and she brings her kids in the house. And this hyena is going to still be in her house walking around like she is the queen of F and she, but talking about what she not going to do. Like anything that that looks plum damn crazy for us, we will do it. We will find a way to be ignorant, to be rude, to be nasty, to steal, to plot. To, to be lazy, to take things that don't belong to us. You can't even do your Airbnb and leave. This woman looks like she got it going on, meaning the homeowner. Look like she got it going on. And now she's going to have to deal with this heifer walking around her house like she lives there. Like this is absolutely crazy to me. So this is a lesson, though. Make sure that you don't rent your own house out to people that you can't get out. She basically rented it to a stranger. Like people are saying to me, like, oh, you should do your um your truck. You get so much money for you get so much money for you could uh, have somebody. I forget what the site is called. Go ahead and rent your truck out and they can use it while you're at work. And then when you come back to your car will be there when you get off public transportation. I'm like, well, what if it's not there? This is what I would think. What if it's not there when I get there? How am I going to get home? I got to call somebody. I got to call Uber. I got to call my husband. I got to call my kids or something. And then my car will be going. Plus, every time somebody drives my car, including my husband, I just feel like it ain't the same. It's just not right. It's 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 my car. I need to be the only one driving it. So that if something is wrong, I know it's me. That's it. That's all. I can't be mad. I can't give nobody a hard time. Nothing. So I most certainly know how people are on car rentals. So ain't no way you're going to treat my car right. I'm like, I'd have to get a completely different car in order for me to be a part of that where you can take my car all day and then you bring it back when you're done. It, it, like, like I'm thinking of the germs. I'm thinking of COVID. I'm thinking of the trash. I'm thinking of if you sneeze or if you aren't cleanly and you're touching my steering wheel and the gear shift and everything else you ch mm -mm, i just can't do it i'd have to have a completely other car in order to do that but i digress straight to the kitchen i ain't going nowhere so deal with it on 
top of her ass just intruded into my dog. She disrespect. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I've been trying to do the right way. I done went down there and got the, <clears throat> the, the all the paperwork that I need to do to get her ass evicted out my house, whatever. But that shit is a process. I have to go through protocols, find the other stupid blase blase bull. And then I just got them. The police just like just left off my house, and I'm like, get this at my house. They're like, oh, she's a tenant now. She's a tenant. Oh, and police. Police. You and the police, oh, okay? My door. That's all I know. Your door. This is my house. How about you get the out of my house? How about that's what you do? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get? She's she's a squatter and she's not new to this. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. That woman has done this before and don't give one damn because she know what. See, this is someone when I say that we out here signing contracts and we don't know what the hell we sign. And this woman knew what she was doing and she found a nice ass place and said, nope, I'm a set up camp and I'm a wait it out because evictions can take three to six months. And with COVID potentially longer. So she up here eating this woman's food in her home, using her air, water, heat, all that stuff that she going to be using until they actually get an eviction. And then once you get an eviction, they'll give her time to get out. Like when people be like, oh, they got seven day eviction. That's after all the eviction process. Eviction is not uh, quick to do. It's not. So don't be thinking when someone was like, oh, I gave her three days. Mm -mm, that stuff ain't true. I don't care where you live at. It's a process. So she got to be stuck with a complete stranger in her own damn house. She could come through at any time and strangle that ass. Allegedly. I'm not saying that at all. We do not condone violence here. And there is nothing she can do to get her house, get her out until she gets this eviction approved. And then once the eviction is granted, the woman still has an amount of time to be able to get out. So even if it happens, just say July the 1st, you've been granted an eviction. They may give her 15 to 30 days. And then if she don't go 15 to 30 days, then they'll give her some more time. And then the sheriff will come in and say, you got to go. And then they'll finally kick her out. But it definitely can take some time. So you got to live in a house with a stranger child and that house look nice she got some nice furniture this woman ain't living like crap here that's why this the uh the squatter chose this place i'm telling you she ain't new to this excuse me excuse me you can record all you want all you want but i ain't going nowhere okay so deal with it this is what I'm dealing with y'all. Airbnb. So don't trust it. Don't do that. Make sure you know exactly who the let into your house because it is some free loaded motherfuckers who would just use you. Got my house. And then I call the goddamn police and oh, she's a tenant. She's a tenant. not no tenant in my house. What do you mean? This is supposed to goddamn be gone. That's she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be gone. Is this call the police. Call the police. Because I ain't going nowhere. Don't touch that door or I'm calling the police on you. They're going to arrest you. Call it. Did you just. Are you smoking in my house? Are you. Are you. This. Child. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. This is what I'm saying. Like, everybody think they know what they're doing. they in business. I'm a business owner. Business, business, business. I make six figures. And I'm not saying that this woman doesn't. But she clearly don't know all the ins and outs. Ain't no way on God's green earth. I'm going to rent out a house. So if someone don't live there, that's fine. It doesn't disrupt your life because you live over here. That's your other home. But it's just crazy to me that people are just out here making deals, supposedly, quote unquote, and doing things and don't know what they're doing. But good luck to this woman and hopefully that they don't hurt each other prior to the end whenever the eviction happens to happen. Because due to COVID, you know, everything is back the heck up. She might have to be in the home. with, And God forbid if she starts bringing people over. Child, mm, mm, mm. And the, the actual landlord could get in trouble if she does anything towards that woman that's illegal. That's considered illegal in that daggone state.
like changing locks if she should happen to leave even though i don't think this woman is ever going to leave the you know out of the door because she's going to be you know thinking that she can't get back in she over here smoking in the house is really nothing that you what are you going to do about that you can't call the police don't waste the police time that's going to turn into a to-do so she got to wait all this out lesson learned there's nothing wrong with Airbnb. The problem is the fact that you rented your own personal home out. You can't trust nobody with nothing. I wouldn't want people to know where I daggone live, honestly. Mm-mm. Nah. But good luck to her. So sorry for your luck, ma'am. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you all in the next one.